with you. All right. That's good. Man Thank you, man. Manuel is. So, yeah. I mean, my comment at the moment on the document would be that I think over time, you, you will have to refine down your food wastage section. All right. So you've got to focus on food wastage. That's fine. But okay. I think at the moment, there's a lot of detail within your food wastage section that actually there's a question from my perspective as to whether or not that, that kind of material belongs in your PhD or is just wider understanding as to of, of food wastage. And I think one of the issues you're going to have is, is how you balance that food wastage research against the research that is specifically focused in relation to, I guess, social media and, and communications on social media and social media can be used to, to, to promote uh, positive change in relation to food wastage. And for me at the moment, you know, that material on food wastage is, is too large, too specific and not 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 particularly well targeted in relation to the to the PhD. But yeah. that that aside, the other stuff, you know, your di your positive kind of um, engagement with research around social media is is developing. All right. So what I would say in relation to that section though is that it feels like some of the sections are very, very small. Okay. okay, it feels like some of the sections are, are very small and then there's a question mark over do we need those sections? Are those sections really important? If they're really important, do we need to strengthen those sections? And I, and I guess for me at the present moment in time in relation to your document, there's kind of a little bit of work to be done on understanding, I guess, your, your um, structure and understanding your reader's journey through that, through that thesis, and particularly through the literature review. So, yeah. how is your literature review going to do what it needs to do, um, and how is it going to map to you know, what individuals are looking are looking to see in there? So, th those are my kind. Of, I haven't gone through and read every section and kind of um, given feedback in every section, but I think just looking through the materials, those are the key points from from my perspective. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I do agree totally with that. I think we did some kind of clustering of topics about the chapter two, and I think you follow them. It's just that because you have been expanded your literature review, you have used the document as a kind of reflection of that exploration, uh, which is fine, but the next step usually for that to be a document yeah. is to for that by distillation, you know, kind of uh, um, uh, um, uh, creating these sections and, and making very clear what are the points that you want to develop. So right now, chapter two, there is like a one, three, six, nine points. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering uh, where are you going with that? Uh, but this is basically what Darren has commented to you before, no? And where are you going with that? And which are the three, let's say, three to five maximum topics that you want to go within the chapter two, you know. Okay. In, in the chapter one, I see you have a case study, the Saudi Food Bank, yes. which is perfectly, is perfectly fine, fine, you know, it even could be, you know, a, 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 a paper or something on itself. So I, I'm fine with that being part of the chapter one. I think it could be. But yeah, the chapter two uh, right now is just uh, seems a little unfocused. Seems it's not very clear what you want to 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 uh, explore there. Okay, so I understand that uh, uh, an important element is social media as a um, as a mod uh, as a mot motor of uh, or engine for change. You know. How, how social media is, is addressing changes in society, how social media can be an influence or whatever. That's one important point in the chapter two. Okay. Uh, more than food waste, it would be the food waste behavior. So again, uh, sociocultural meaning and food waste would be perfectly part of the problem definition and probably they are already, so there is some overlapping. But the food waste behavior, yeah, that could be something to develop in chapter two. 
but because I don't think food waste behavior is that uh, study or there are so many things published on that, probably you want to also combine that with some kind of behavior, I don't know, some kind of transferable elements from other areas. But yeah, basically the behavior thing, the behavioral component is wrong. The social media component for change is another. Okay. And okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously, okay. when you develop the second one, uh, strategies in social media are part of the second one. You know? So I think it could be much more better structured the second one. You know, okay. that sense. if you want, I can give you these things uh, right then by, yes, by email. Uh, yes, and that way, maybe we can double check this because it has been a couple of weeks since we read this. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I'm wondering. Hmm. I mean, I'm wondering if with those two points, the chapter two would be OK. It's obviously two points. It means they are complex points. For me, it's just a question of a structure. Then there can be some subsections there or whatever. But so far, is that two points, the important points about what you want to do? Actually, uh, all themes in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the chapter two, I, I extracted it from uh, uh, I, I have uh, read so many literature review, so I extract these themes from these uh, literature review. I suggest this and I want your recommendation about this. So uh, after recommend your recommendation, I will improve it and develop it and extend it more and more. I don't think uh, you need to d delete or erase much of the content. It's a question of structuring that. I, I, I would like that to be elements that can be part of the section that you are constructing right now. Mm -hmm. It's just that I want to see the sense of direction of where it's all coming, uh, you know, uh, uh, where it's all going through, you know, too. Yes, that. But no, not so. just, just in terms of, I mean, for me, the, the two core things is one core thing in relation to contribution. All right. Yeah. The key thing in relation to PhD is, is the contribution that you make, okay? Now, in terms of contribution, it's about thinking, well, what is my contribution going to be, or where is my contribution to be centers, and how can my literature review best support that contribution, all right? Now, yes. the issue there for me in relation to this at the moment is, if I was an external at this point, all right, then I would be thinking, well, you've got to focus on... I guess how um, how social media has been used in campaigns around food food wastage, but there are so many other critical issues linked yeah. to social media or social media use that I would be questioning. Well, what? How is food wastage any different to any of the other uh, issues that are out there that individuals have researched? about social media yeah. and how social media be, can be used to, to spread messages and to communicate and, and change behaviours and those kinds of things. So what I would say at the moment is, if in the context of your literature review, there's a small section that focuses on there's not very much uh, written on campaigns linked to social to food waste mm -hmm. in social media, you've got some material on that, but what there is, is a lot of material focused on, well, you know, social media, social media's use in promoting other campaigns and, and those kinds of things, all right? So that right. For me would be a gap in understanding and that would be a gap where I would be wanting to question. And actually, that would be a gap in terms of thinking, well, even if, you, you know, when you got to the end of this process and you got that contribution in place, what is that contribution really in the context of the wider field? All right. So I think yeah. for me that that is an area that is undeveloped at the moment in the context of the thesis, just, just understanding that. And then essentially the focus on food where, you know, food wastage campaigns or whatever else can come out of that process because that's that's the area of interest. But if there's very little on that, I'd still want to see, you know, stuff written um, around that. And you've got yeah. Some, yeah. 
Uh, 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 yeah, I, 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 I totally agree. It's just that uh, uh, that is a, a, a step he has still to do, like to go to the critical part. To the, I mean, you do description, now prescription. No, I mean, the contribution of yours is going to be to think about one, the problem so far in, in, in this, why food behavior is different to other kinds of behavior. OK, mm -hmm. uh, 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 and second ones that 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 who, what could be your ideas for the future? What would you suggest to put the researchers to to test yeah. and to think? And if you come up with some uh, ideas or some uh, elements that you want to test, that will be part of your chapter three. You know, okay. the, the, the chapter three would be to test those ideas to say, OK, my conclusions are that these points or these strategies needs to be tested and that is what we are going to test and whatever we find it might be truth or not you know but that review itself will have value if you do that as darren suggested with the prescription and the description you know uh, not, not only what they have done in the past but also you know what is failing in the past and what can be tested in the future you know that's the other key thing linked into that as well is if you go back to your research question so for me yeah. kind of you know, your research question follows a, a fairly straightforward path or your research question follows a, straight, a fairly straightforward path. And for me, it would be linked into those research questions. Can you find those studies that are doing similar in a context of other issues, NASA, not necessarily food wastage, um, exploring okay. social media? Because I would expect the kind, same kinds of process are taking place in relation to those other issues. And then it's about, well, what is, what is the difference in relation to food wastage? So this notion of exploring substantive issues, exploring what individuals are, are, are writing about, what they're discussing uh, within social media spaces, I think that has got to be brought out in some way, shape or form within the context of, of your literature. And there's probably stuff around networks, there's probably other stuff in there that needs to come through again in relation to your, your lit review. Because if you don't do that and you know you will get those questions, you know, those questions are core to, to the process. And that's why I guess at the beginning the focus on food waste, this you know, the heavy focus on food wastage by the context of a um, of a whatever food PhD, all right? But I think you've just got to balance the amount because you're not going to get a PhD in food science, yeah? All right, your PhD is in the context of, of social media and digital media. Uh, uh, if, we go for <laughs> if we go for a structure of two points now in the to review, that would be covered because one would be social media in the, in the change of in same behavior campaigns, you know? So yeah. think about that as a topic. Same, same uh, social media in, 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 in changing behavior campaigns. And the other is food behavior, you know? So uh, obviously if you cover those points using the information you have already explored and restru restructuring there. I will, I will suggest uh, a table of contents what would you, what, what, uh, using what you have already. And I do it through the document, uh, through the um, this. Um, I sorry, the meeting record. In the meeting record, I, I will suggest a table of content for that. Okay. And uh, and if you stick to, stick to that and you carry on with your exploration, maybe we can see. And then it will be a question to see if there are paragraphs or elements that are maybe redundant. You know, which doesn't mean it hasn't been useful for you to explore this and to have an understanding. But maybe that uh, perhaps are not as useful as 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 it should be for the final document, you know. So there will be maybe some elements like that, but uh, but that is something uh, we maybe need to 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 explore uh, through the document. I need to come back to the document and, and give you uh, you know more specific feedback about those paragraphs. That's the only the only thing from me really is just that. Um, it's developing that understanding, okay? That understanding of, of what your PhD, not what your PhD is, but, but what a PhD is, all right? And and kind of, you know, the, the root of the PhD is to develop that understanding over the duration of 
I think for me, it's about getting to think, I guess, critically at the moment about where, because you've got loads of material here, you've put a lot of effort that you're still doing loads of reading and those kinds of things, all right? Yeah. So from my perspective, in terms of the work and the amount of work that you're putting in, there's no issue, all right? From my perspective in relation to where that work is, is going and where some of the material is, there's, there's not an issue, but it's not where, where it needs to be. It will be where it needs to be, but it, it's just getting that in, you know, getting that thinking into your in, into your mind, yeah. So your PhD really, again, it, just that notion of positioning it, being really, really clear about the position of your PhD, all right, and and really understanding where some of the content is. So, you know, just as an example of yes. kind, the kind of issues that are present within the document at the moment. If I go to, where was it? Was it food waste behavior? Where are we? In the, three, in the chat and two, section three? Page 14, Nasser. Page 14, okay. All right, below the, below the figure, all right? You've got a load of stuff on um, refrigeration, keeping food stored and those kinds of things. Yes. All right. I would say that very little of that will end up in your PhD thesis. Okay. All right. Because it's got a lot of detail in there, but there's, there's a lack really of, of, I don't know, there's a lack, lack of, um, not understanding, but a, a lack of, of of it really being that important, I think, in the context of your PhD. In the context of a food wastage PhD or in the context of a, a food science PhD, maybe, okay? In the context of this one, I don't, don't think so. Okay. I just, uh, I, I, I tried to explain uh, the problem and after that I will, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, from my perspective, food wastage is, you know, it's a substantial problem, okay? Yeah. But it's the level of abstraction of that substantial problem that you need to present, all right? So you can go into a load of detail about food wastage, all right? But the big questions over that detail, or you can provide a level of abstraction. And I think it's that level of abstraction that I'm, I'm trying to drive towards NASA. Okay. All right, because I just don't, I don't see the point, I guess, in the context of that paragraph as to why that paragraph's, or why that paragraph will be in your PhD. Mm -hmm. All right, but that's just an example. Mm -hmm. I think there are other examples of sentences where I just think in terms of level of detail about food wastage, fine. But in terms of whether or not it belongs in your PhD eventually, just a question. Okay. Okay. And so, I mean, some of that may be just how how the material is, is shaped and showcased, all right? I can't hear you, Manuel, you're on mute. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Thank no. Uh, uh, they call me for the civil register. The, I validated my marriage finally. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> that's fine. In Spain, it, it, it's legal in the UK. Are you sure? Yeah. Have you got married to someone else in Spain? Yeah, uh, that was the, the point of validating that. So this, uh, I oh, avoid oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't know if I marry adequately because, you know, the British, uh, the, the Scottish people, I don't understand the accent. And I have to repeat that, what the lady say. And uh, and she was, uh, and I repeated what she say, and I don't know exactly what they say. So uh, I might have, you know, accepted another condition. I don't know if it was marriage or anything else. But, but well, so far, well. No, uh, I, 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 I think it's understandable about the, this thing about the paragraphs, but I think it can be a feedback provided, you know, more specifically on the document. And I, 
I understand from the point of view of the students sometimes if it's like, OK, I'm writing, I'm writing 55 pages. I I am exploring a lot of things. I'm learning a lot. And you are still talking to me about the points, the structure or whatever. If it's like, are you reading? Really? No, we read, but this is extremely important. You know, it's really, really important because the first uh, the first reading the externals are going to do about your work is the structure. So they're going yeah. to get is, uh, you know, uh, the points and they're going to see exactly where you're going and, and, and what kind of, you know, so that is it's kind of of uh, the, the way to go. Yeah, it's just that, you know. Yeah. Mm. But uh, I think uh, right now, if you give me the chance to uh, to re uh, to give you a, uh, an idea for the structure using yes. these points, uh, uh, we can uh, I can also tell you uh, right now if there is any important gap yeah. in terms of the content, uh, in terms of the paragraph. And I'll if I share this by email, uh, maybe Darren can have another look as well and give uh, his opinion on the on the document itself or or whatever. Uh, uh, and we can maybe set up uh, a meeting for uh, a week or two for this moment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just as an example, Nasser, I've just yes. done a brief search on smoking cessation, uh, smoking cessation, social media on um, mm -hmm. Scholar. And I got the first mm -hmm. thing that I got was a systematic review of social media interventions for smoking cessation. So, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, that for me is a relevant study to your study. All right. Okay. Go on, Manuel. Why? Why is it relevant? Why is it relevant? Because it's a focus on how to intervene in behavioural change linked to smoking oh, behaviour. Well, okay. rather yeah, than food. Okay. Yeah, but the problem is that motivational, uh, in terms of motivation, uh, smoking is a learning, is a behavior that is learned, is not natural, and and and, and food waste satiation is is a, a is a natural thing, it's an instinct. So uh, on the motivational pyramid, let's say it, it, it works to different levels. So uh, 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 yeah, well, completely agree. But but yeah. the reality is that. You've got to look at various different other campaigns yeah. like to look at what people have, have done and people have found in order to determine whether or not there's that relationship or isn't that related. And NASA can make that argument in the context of his of his PhD. Oh. But I still yes. think that there's materials to learn from those other campaigns, whether they're behavioral or whether they're 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 um yeah, okay. learned. Okay, that, that, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, that now that I think maybe he should read some kind of a, a psychology handbook or something like a small chapter on motivation or whatever to have the minimum understanding of well, you you and us because being I studied this years ago and I don't think you know so it might be okay to refresh a little this kind of things no to 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 have an idea about the. Yeah, the these main principles of psychology or whatever uh, in relation to this, but yeah, I can see now the the point of, of Darren. Any kind of interventional behavior <laughs> problem is that psychology can be defined as interventional behavior, so it can be many things. So it can be extremely wide, but uh, but perhaps it, it, is those uh, explorations have to do with social media in that context. Mm -hmm. The, the you have, you know, and then the, the food behavior point is about whole understanding exactly. And that is why I say that maybe it has to do with the principles of psychology, defining why your case study has some peculiarities or some differences with other, uh, you know, uh, in the behavior thing. So I think, uh, the, yeah, I, I can see clearly that that could be a, a, a possibility. So yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> uh, excuse me, Darin. Uh, is this study uh, 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 new or old? How, which which year? Which which year was? This so one it was. It was an example only, but yeah, know, an example know, but anyway. It's 2017 uh, anyway, Nasser. So you know, it's four 
three, four years old, but but that's all right. But the problem with that, uh, Nasser, also when once uh, you go to a systematic review, while they are all called systematic reviews, some of them are more kind of, you know, bibliometric analysis or, or quantitative, like, okay, these are the terms used or this is the topics employed. Thematic analysis, which implies, uh, you know, also kind of understanding or uh, creating some narrative about the different areas. It's not only quantitative. And then you have critical reviews which is people who select 10 or 20 or 12 or whatever, and they read them and they analyze them in depth. And all of them, these three methods, maybe there are others, are called systematic review, all of them. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we'll have to see, but, but, but yeah, maybe a systematic review that is relevant in terms of the focus mm. might be part of your critical review, you know? Yeah, I mean, there's one for 2020 on there as well. Uh, NASA, mm -hmm. there's one more recent, and then uh, just looking down the list actually, and then thinking about um, kind of elements that are relevant to, to your study. Uh, the, there's another paper focused on perceptions and sentiments about electronic cigarettes on social media platforms. Again, again, a systematic review, but in the context of your particular study, that notion of finding those kinds of papers that focus on what people are saying, what perceptions, you know, what are the perceptions of food wastage, etc. Drawing some of that that comparison across will be really useful and important. Yeah. Taking into account everything that Manuel said about smoke, but there'll be other, I mean, food wastage behavior is one element of behavior that is not um, learned. There are other there are other behaviors as well that you might um, find relevant. So there may be other things that um, that you search for that are that are important. Um, uh, mm -hmm. No, I, I was thinking also that the value of that search that Darren is suggesting, mm -hmm. it's perhaps even more important if you think about how to measure these things, because these okay. papers are going to tell you not only the perceptions of the people, but also are going to be successful examples of how to measure that through, for example, content analysis or, for example, interviews or, for example, surveys or anything like that. So in the third part of your thesis, whatever you establish as an hypothesis, you need to test that. So what is going to be the methodology? And these papers, if they are not used in lead final in the literature review, even if they are not used in the literature review, they might be still helpful in that other part. And they will be referenced in the methodology because they will be successful examples of measuring these attitudes and this, but again, well, are we talking about attitudes? Are we talking about perceptions? Are we talking about, uh, you know, uh, likes and dislikes? Because depending on the model of psychology, we want to accept one term or another, and all of those are, are different, okay? But sure. that's also something that should be defined in your literature review, you know? What kind of model are you going to, to stand for? Uh, and if you say, okay, it's food behavioral change, and I'm going to try to define food behavioral change in this way, mm -hmm. but then it will be attitudes or it will be perceptions or it will be any other thing. But those things, you know, and that is why, uh, again, this paper can be useful. I know the, the real positive from a systematic review paper or, or other review paper is, is what you will get out of them is more papers. Yeah. You know, yes. In essence, yeah. there'll be there'll be stuff in there that might be useful, but the most useful element of a systematic review paper is that linkage through to other papers um, about those topic areas. So, um, but but again, that that's just one that's just one kind of um, area. So smoking cessation is is one thing. There'll be other there'll be other. Um, I mean, there, is a, there is a reason for that obvious commentary, you know, I mean, uh, there are some kind of areas that have been more explored than others because there has been more funding and obviously mm -hmm. cigarette has been an important area of research in behavior for years and years and years for obvious reasons. OK, so uh, the other one uh, could be violence, for example, behavioral uh, learning and uh, behavioral learning, what is social social learning, you know, okay. uh, social learning of etc. So one of the things is social learning on, on violence and, and that could be, you know, so 
there might be some kind of extrapolation or transferability from social learning me mechanism to a, you know, a food behavior. Especially why, food is something very, very social, I guess, you know. So. Weight mm. loss, Nasser, is something that is relevant. Yeah. What? yeah. Weight loss. Okay. All right. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the psychology expert that Manuel is. So yeah. I don't uh, weight loss. I, I'm not so, either. No, no, no. But, uh, but uh, I guess, uh, yeah, no, I think uh, the key here is, is to try to balance, you know, what kind of things can be done exclusively from the food food perspective or from other perspective that can be applied for food. And as, as suggested by Aaron, I mean, not, don't forget that you are in social media and your PhD is in digital media. So so we need mm -hmm. to consider that, not, not to get too lost into the the psychology or into the yes. or, or into the food culture you know mm -hmm. but, but 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 yeah yeah i mean there's loads of, there is loads of stuff out there nasa on on those kinds of things so um i think for me it's just about building up the the literature around that in a context yeah. but i think you will find things that are really valuable to your study within those within those other studies because you know, you'll be able to bring some of that material through and you'll be able to see what they're, what they're um, looking at in terms of their literature review within their, within their papers. Um, yeah. It's always useful to learn from that. Another thing that I think we have commented, but I, I, I think maybe can be useful to remind you, Nasser, is that so when you read the papers, Obviously, you need to be, uh, um, uh, you know, spending your time adequately. So you might, uh, you know, stick to the to the titles, then later the abstracts, then later the references, you know. And when you are shown the title, the abstract, and, and the reference match what you are looking for, oh, then that's good. Uh, you know, uh, the, the 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 title and the abstract is kind of intuitive. It's clear to everybody. To everybody would think of that. Many people won't think about the reference, True. but it's yeah, extremely yeah. important. Eh? Title, abstract, and then reference to see if the reference match with the kind of works you are reading so far. And then it's when you read the 15 pages of the article. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you cannot read papers that you like or you find interesting, of course, mm -hmm. I'm just yes. saying that 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 is could be a good exercise to save your time, you know? Mm -hmm. OK. Nasser, I think it, just, just going back to what Manuel said originally around smoking and, and the, it may be useful for you to just ensure you've got some categorization or classification or understanding of, of those issues. And then for me, probably it's worth picking up on one issue that, that you know such as smoking or whatever in in one category and then probably two or three issues in a, in another category because i think you'll find a load of materials out there and smoking's one thing and it'd be useful to look and see whether or not there's any any um benefit that can be derived from looking at smoking studies but the the categories that are most relevant to food behavior are probably the ones that you want to you want to target more and you know just thinking about yeah. so many different places you could go in relation to, to exploring different types of campaigns for behavioral change. That yeah. I think you've got to be really specific as to which which particular ones you're going to target. But it, it is possible that in talking about food behavioral uh, change, uh, no, sorry, uh, in the other point, in the social media for behavior change, it might be possible that there are elements through marketing, uh, what is called social marketing, yeah. you know and all these kind of classifications or something like that and there are classification maybe uh, in terms of health or environment or whatever and maybe you can start a, a, a paragraph or something just a mention to the place that this ah. this uh, you know actions or these uh, strategies place in the whole picture of the social behavior you know so it might be that health and environment share some some features for yeah. example features that are related to not in uh, not immediate reward because are are usually behaviors that are not immediately rewarding therefore you need to appeal the people 
using specific strategies because they are not going to be reinforced immediately. OK, so while there are other things related to, for example, economy or wherever, where it's more tangible, the reward. So the strategy is different. So there must be some kind of classification about that. And if I find uh, anything, I maybe I can share with both of you. Maybe we can have a look together. But just as a as a, as a br brief mention, you know, to 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 locate your uh, research within the whole picture. I wouldn't I wouldn't try to go farther in terms of you know comparing or 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 yeah, just you know, just put yourself in the map okay. in relation to the other theories. I think that that might be, that might be uh, helpful, and there must be some kind of handbook on mm, that, sure. with an introduction or something that could be perfectly fine for that that purpose, you know. Okay. So, so I, I'll take a look at that. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. In fact, we I think we we had uh, at the very beginning in the three in the third session or something we mentioned one handbook that mm -hmm. was about things like this. So maybe that could be a way to go. I'll, t I'll take a look at that as well. Yeah, no problem. No problem yeah. But you remember which handbook I told you. I think I think I, or uh, I send the PDF or I send you the table of contents or something like that, maybe. I think I send you a table of content for that. Yeah, I think it so, was yeah. in the second or third session. Well, communication. Talk about yeah, things. like communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. How maybe I can find that now in our uh, you know, but if not, I'll take a look. Environment communication, I think. Environmental communication. Ah, yeah, that one. But yeah, obviously it's not about environmental. But uh, as I say, I think uh, if you if you follow that thread, yeah. you know, I think there must be some kind of classification about yeah. what the difference between environmental and food or, you know, health in general or other things, you know. So uh, probably with that introduction, yeah. you, can, you, you can follow that introduction and find the, the reference, the reference you need, yeah. you know? Although although maybe mm. may, maybe sometimes it's quite classical and they go to the 60s to Alport or something like that. And they are like, OK, this is a talk by Alport or by Levin in the 70s. And it's like, OK, fine. But maybe it's that general, you know? But I think there might be something more modern, you know? I think we've probably given you enough. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I'll try to. I mean, I, I just did a simple search on behavioral change classification food wastage just on Google, and there's a chapter on applying behavioral change methods to food waste um, out there as well, NASA. But that doesn't. That doesn't give you that, that classification structure, uh, but it does give you an indication of a, a number of different methods that can be applied mm -hmm. to, to measure change. Um, there must be something somewhere that, that does exactly what Manuel's talking about in terms yeah. of classifying the types of behavior. Yeah, I'll take a look at that as well. So it's, it, it should be OK. OK. But yeah, I agree. I think he has already stuff to work. I will send you a supervisory record with that yeah. table content amendment. Yeah, uh, uh, so and uh, and uh, if I find the handbook as well. Yes, please. And when when is it good for both of you to meet? Anytime I am free. When um, Manuel, two weeks time, did you say? I thought it could be sensible, yeah. If you want to stick to Friday, it could be the Friday 28th. Yeah, I can do, I can do Friday the 28th. I can, Me too, yeah. I just can't do 10 till 11 or one till half two. Mm -hmm. 10 to 11, you want, for example? No, I can't do 10 Ah, 11. you cannot do, yeah, okay. Sorry. Uh, well, you can do. We can do eleven if you want, or or twelve. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. 11. 11. Because Is you that? know we have uh, we have the uh, holy prayer at, on, on on Friday. You know that start from one to two. All right. So, so, uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. But 
when when are you finishing the the month uh, the ramadan did you finish yesterday. The ramadan before yesterday <laughs> sorry yesterday yesterday, yesterday. Ah, yesterday. Oh, how hope you know that darren <laughs> okay. Sorry, know. you know all these things are, are you are you muslim darren <laughs> yeah i've got the map <laughs> okay. Ma maji had left his map <laughs> oh, but that's great. That's great because the, the, the last the last meeting in Nasser, I did it eating, and I didn't realize, so it was <laughs> not that's very good. good. <laughs> that's good for me. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I, no, no, it's okay. okay. I've forgotten what the greeting is, Nasser. Yeah, Eid uh, Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Or, or happy Eid. Happy Eid. Ah, oh, yes. happy Eid. Uh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so the, the the that Friday you have a a, a prayer. But can we look for another day, maybe? No, 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 no Friday it's okay. But before one, I'm fine. Uh, until one, you mean? Yeah, for, from one to uh, to no, from one to two. Uh, this is our uh, special time. So uh, before one or after two. Ah, yes. but eleven and then is fine. Yeah. yeah, eleven is fine. Yeah, eleven. Is fine. Okay, okay. So eleven. Yeah, eleven. I've just come out of three days of um, a European project meeting. <laughs> Unfortunately, from uh, from home. <laughs> well, at, least, at least you have European money. I'm yeah. still begging. I'm still begging for any kind of European project. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll see you, see you both then. I'll probably see you before, actually. That's it. Uh, sorry, Manuel. No, no Rocket League. We have to. We have to. I didn't play so far. Uh, but the problem is tomo uh, tomorrow, Saturday. We can do it today because tomorrow, my my uh, uh, brother is coming here to uh, to a wedding or something like that, so he's not going to be in, a, in his home in Albacete. So, but uh, yeah, yeah. We'll do, we'll do it another week, Manuel. Uh, you cannot do this week. I can't, oh. I can't do this. Week. Ah, okay. Well, that's all right. We uh, will do it anyway. Excuse me, I, I have I have two questions, please. Okay. Go uh, first one. Uh, is there any specific words for literature review? To uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean to uh, to uh, for 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 the confirmation review. You know, uh, confirmation review. You said will be in in, in August. Yeah. Nasa, what, what? Sorry, what was the question? The, the actual review, maybe. Is there is there any specific words? I mean, ten words, ten thousand words, or uh, ah, the limit uh, for, the for literature review. Or whatever. No, I, the focus of that um, that final that yearly review, Nasser, is is a focus on chapters. So yes. essentially, should be more or less at the end of chapter three. So your method should be you know in place at that point. So your chapter one, chapter. I mean, even as things stand at the moment, your chapters are in a position where they'd be critiqued uh, within the context of that um, of that meeting. But I don't think you know you be in a, a negative place. Um, mm. So chapter three you need to do, but I think chapter three in terms of method just needs to be developed between now and then. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's uh, writing now the chapter three. Well, yeah. no, I mean the focus for me still is on chapter two, Nasser. Yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah. you can write chapter three without really clearly understanding some mm -hmm. of those campaigns. Um, sorry, some of those papers about um, the way in which behavioural change has been uh, looked for within the context of social or, or facilitated through social media. So, but I think three will, for me, three comes really easily yeah. as long as your literature review has been has been good because three, you, you're essentially just making decisions. And even at the moment, in terms of your research questions, your research questions are fairly clear in terms of the direction of them. So. You know, even at the moment with what's there, three is relatively straightforward. 
The only issue in terms of three, again, um, that needs to be developed is it's just that notion of, of your analysis and what you're looking for. OK, okay. Uh, which okay. again will come will come from your wiser reading. So yeah. I, I'm not I'm not I'm not worried at this point over over that that um, that meeting. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, the second question is, is uh, you, do, you know, do you know which which day? specific day will be in, in the meeting no but we can schedule it if you want us to schedule it we can we can get a we can get a date in a diary and then you've got something to work towards yeah, mm. yeah. that's good yeah because you know may, maybe maybe i'm not sure i maybe i will go to saudi arabia for two weeks three weeks okay uh, no from from <clears throat> from 10th of, of Ju Ju july so it will be 20 days Okay. So I, yeah. I, well, I, I, you know, uh, NASA could even even later, but also we should have a look at the deadline for the thing in Salford in case that that is a problem. And I can imagine that the sooner you have it, the better. Yeah, but yeah. you know, uh, yes, it, I want it, to organize it, myself. You know, you can even have the the thing because yeah, probably could be online. So we, we yeah, we, no. but but yeah, yeah, let's let's. Uh, in any case, uh, I'm going to change the thing with with this uh, person, and I guess we'll have a, a, an answer for next week about the yeah. deadlines and all this. Yeah, work out the Salford thing, and then we'll schedule in relation to that. Because even from my perspective, NASA, you can, we could schedule that yearly review at any at any point. You know, even mm -hmm. you know, at this point, you know, within a few weeks, you know, we could we could okay. schedule a yearly review because I think you've got enough content there. Um, as things stand, for us to to have a good, clear direction or understand of where you're going. So okay. let's let's wait for the Salford thing and understand the key day simulation to Salford, and then and then move forward from there. That's good, no problem. Okay. All right. Good okay. See you okay. See you soon. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.